count to 10 with me, guys. One, one, zero, one, 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 zero. Hey hackers, Cosmo here. Unless you were born with nine fingers or a third leg, decimal is the number system that most of you should already be familiar with. Now, decimal is a base 10 system, and if you may be wondering what that means, well, base 10 means that it utilizes 10 digits to represent numbers ranging from zero to nine. But it also means that each digit can hold a place value that increments by a factor of tens. For example, the number 25 has a value of five in the ones place, which mathematically is represented by 10 to the zero. But there's a two in the tens place, which is instead represented by 10 to the one. This exponent will increase in the leftward direction. Now this pattern continues as the next place would be the hundreds place and that would be, you know, 10 to the two, but we put a zero there because there is no value in the hundreds place to put there. So instead we will just read the number as 25. We often ignore this and any other prefixing zeros entirely because it doesn't really matter and contribute to the number that we're trying to read. To put it simply, computers use high and low electric signals to function. Because of this, we need a number system that can compute operations based on these two signal values. So we use binary. Binary is a base two number system, meaning it uses two digits. So instead of uh, zero through nine, we only use one to represent higher or true values and zero to represent off or low values. Now these two numbers we call bits and these are part of the binary system. You can kind of think of digits as bits in this system. Now, similar to decimal numbers, each bit can have a numeric value, but instead of being a factor of 10, binary numbers use a factor of two. For example, if we go back to the decimal number 25, it will look like this in binary. Now, I know this looks pretty scary, but don't worry, it's surprisingly easy to understand. Do know that a binary number with eight bits is called a byte and one with four bits is called a nibble, but bytes are the standard in computer science, so all the numbers we will see in this video are going to be one byte in size or eight bits long. The best way to actually read this binary number is to simply convert it. We know that a byte has eight bits, so let's write out each of the eight bits with their appropriate values. All we need to do, starting from the left, is to check if our number or value is less than or equal to the decimal number of 25. If it isn't, then we'll just mark it with a zero. So 128, 64, and 32 are all not less than or equal to 25, so we will put zeros there. However, the number 16 is less than or equal to 25. So for here, we will put a one, and then we will subtract this number from 25. So 25 minus 16 is nine and that will be the new number that we will check across as we continue to go down this line. From there, we just rinse and repeat on our new decimal number nine. Continuing down, we can see that eight is less than nine, so we can subtract it with the value of one and also put a one there to represent that that value is indeed less than or equal to nine. Finishing off, we can see that four and two are all not less than or equal to one, so we will put zeros there to represent that, but we do know that one is equal to one, so we will put a one there, subtract one and one, and we should have zero. That will give us our final binary number of 00011001. To go from this binary number back to the decimal number, all we need to do is just add the values where ones appear. So we can see there's a one in the 16th place, the eighth place, and the one place. So we can just add 16 plus eight plus one, and that is 25. Here's a fun fact for my nerds. Know that bits, unlike a decimal digit, have no total order. If we look at this one bit system where zero is less than one, we add one on both sides, we will now see that one is less than zero, which we all assume to not be true, but in a binary system, this is completely valid, especially in a one bit system where if you add one to one, it just rolls back to zero. Hex numbers are probably the most important number system within computer science. Now, hex numbers are base 16, which means they use the numbers zero through nine and the letters A through F to represent each digit. Now, one hex digit is a nibble, which means it's four bits in size, which means two hex digits is a full byte. Now, since bytes are the standard within computer science, you usually see hex numbers stored in pairs of two. Converting hex numbers is a little less intuitive, but to go from hex to binary, you simply need to convert each hex digit back to its original nibble form. To convert to decimal, you convert the rightmost number, and if there is a number to the left of it, you simply multiply that number by it, whatever its place is, and then add it to that number to the right. For example, if we had the hex number hex 19, where zero X represents hex numbers, and 19 is our hex number, we will take the number nine and add it to that one, but that one would be one times 16 because it's in the 16 to the first place. So we would do one times 16 plus nine, and that would be 25. 
Hopefully this was a good initial, easy, brief introduction to the different number systems and computing. I made this video specifically because these are going to be very important, basic, general understandings that you will need to have as we kind of progress through a series I'm about to launch relatively soon. I think this will just help you guys get a good grasp, a good foundation, and hopefully it's been something you've been able to enjoy. Regardless, stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking. If you enjoy content like this, then you will absolutely love the Happy Hacker site plan. For just $7 a month, you get access to exclusive videos, articles, courses, and learning resources, all created just for you. But wait, there's more. You'll also be able to freely access our custom-built malware, tools, payloads, and suites. So if you're ready to level up from a newbie to a pro, head over to CosmodiumCS.com forward slash support and check it out today.